Real greeting, saints of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Family, members of Change Bible Church, fellow South Africans, and all those who can join me as we pray and intercede against this coronavirus. One of my sisters at church said, if there's a man to pray, then there's God to answer. Our prayer is based on a scripture reading of Exodus chapter number 12, verse number 13. I'm reading from the New King James Version. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on your houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. The scripture that we read comes out very relevant to the weekend that we're coming from which is a, real, uh, a weekend of uh, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Remember, saints, that God has only one, uh, 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 has only plan A. He does not have plan B because plan A never fails. God never fails. Plan A, which is the blood of Jesus, I think it's a master plan. That's what God applies it against the enemy. Oh, that's what God applies against the enemy. Um, the blood of Jesus is one of the strongest weapons that God Almighty has made available to the church today. Where we read that the children of Israel had to put and to apply the blood of Jesus, rather the blood of the Lamb, on their doorposts, and their lives were spared from the angel of death. As we're going to pray and plead the blood of Jesus upon our families and declare that the coronavirus, and commonly known as COVID-19, has passed over, we're going to declare that it has passed over our country, our community, our families, children and elderly, doctors, nurses, all the essential uh, services individuals, including the, our police officials, and our traffic officials, officials, in Jesus' name, let us pray. Let us agree together as we pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for making the blood of Jesus available in our lives. The supernatural power, the blood that never loses its power, as the singer will sing, that it reaches to the highest mountains and it flows to the lowest valley the blood of jesus it gives a strength that never never that never loses its power we declare in the mighty name of jesus that no destructive plague pandemic sickness disease and infections will ever come near us according to the word that we read of god the blood will be a sign for you and your houses where you are. Therefore, dear God, we plead the blood of Jesus upon all that has our names on it. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the physical and spiritual gates of South Africa. We pray and cancel any growth projections of this virus. And during and after this lockdown, we cancel and nullify any further transmission and infections we forbid any further spread of this virus in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. We employ the voice of the blood of Jesus to echo in, in the spiritual realm and cancel any negative predictions of death and new infections in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that the voice of the blood of Jesus will arise and defend our lives, families, communities, our beloved country in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Lord God, today we command that the power, the power of the blood of Jesus, which is the life of God, to arise and swallow anything concerning the virus in the same way that the serpents of Aaron swallowed the serpents of Pharaoh's rods um, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that Father God, this virus is defeated. This virus is dead. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak to the coronavirus because coronavirus is a name. We say die in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord God. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you believe it, say hallelujah. Amen.